Hello, my name is Benjamin Tuckett. Welcome to the channel. From 9 to 5 Linux, we have System MD Free Nitrix 5.0 that was officially released with Hyperland Desktop, if I'm not correct on that word, and Linux 6.17. Nitrix is now available in two variants. One with Licorix kernel for AMD GPUs, one with Cache OS kernel for NVIDIA GPUs. So, after many months of hard work, Yuri Herrera announced today the general availability of Nitrix 5.0 as a major update to this immediate system D free distribution. Nitrix 5.0 is the first ever release to drop the KDE Plasma desktop environment and ship with Hyperland by default. That is a dynamic tilling Whalen compositor using Greet D. Greet D as a minimal Wayland login manager. Waybar as a highly customizable Wayland bar. W logout as a logout menu. And Crystal Dock as a dock. And Wolfie E as an application launcher. This new Hyperland setup also features Clip Vault, Clipboard History Manager for Wayland, Qt Greet, Qt based greeter for Greet D. NWG Display, Output Management of Utility for Wayland, NWG Look, a, a, G, a GTK3 Settings Editor for WL Roots Environments, Sways Notification Center, Hyperscreen D for, or Hyperscreened for changing the screen refresh rate, huh? Nice. Another novelty in Nitrux 5.0 is that distribution is now available in two variants. One with classic Licorix flavored kernel, one with Casio S kernel. Very appreciated kernel these days that promise this improved responsiveness, throughput, and overall system performance. Linux kernel 6.17 is used in this release by default. Lixer, bleh. Licorix kernel powered ISO image ships with Mesa graphic stack, while Cache OS kernel powered ISO features open source NVIDIA graphics driver. As such, Nitrix devs recommend users to download the Licorix edition for AMD GPUs and Cache OS edition for NVIDIA GPUs. As far as the software goes, Nitrix 5.0 uses OpenRC as the default init. It various MAUI kit apps including index as default file manager pipewire for handling audio and video streams network manager for network connections calamare as default graphical installer and flatpak support it also ships with grimshot as the default screenshot utility and kde's arc as default file archivers this release also includes components like open razor app armor blue sea fwpid or FWUPD, eh. Git, Docker, Podman, Core Control, Wire Plumber, X Wayland, and KDE Framework. Under that hood, Nitrux 5.0 features SCX Global Feed Time CPU Scheduler, Valve's Game Scope Microcompositor, and a Nanasi CPP Daemon designed to offer low CPU and RAM usage while managing process priorities. CPU scheduling I O I slash O scheduling and C groups through event based systems. Check out their release announcement page for more details for from where you can download Nitrix 5.0 as Licorix or Cache OS flavored editions from that same location. As you can imagine, it's not possible to upgrade existing Nitrix installation to this new major version. You'll have to perform a fresh install. And that is all for this video. Let me know what you think about it. If there's anything you want me to take a look at, please comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.